Hello, friends. Glenda Bollett here, and welcome to my craft room tonight. We are going to stamp. Well, there's a little tiny bit of stamping. We're going to create a card using the flight and airy designer paper that went live today, and you can only get it for free. Not very often that we get free products, and this is one of those times, and oh my gosh, I've already had customers snapping this designer paper up like crazy. So I'm just over on Facebook making sure everything is chugging along so I can see if anybody's going to join me. It's been a while, been two weeks since I was live, and I don't even know if anybody is going to join me or not. So we'll just stamp. If it happens, it happens. If not, you can catch the replay later. All right, let me swing you around. It is Thursday, the January the 4th. It's been a week and a half since Christmas. Oh, there's Janet. Yay, it's working. I was beginning to wonder if it was even working. Hello, Janet. Thank you for letting me know. So everything is... Okay, that is just bizarre. What is that going on down at the bottom here? Let's just hide that. Oh, there we are. Woo. Okay, we have Norma and Yvonne. Oh, Norma, yeah, I haven't seen you in like mm, three and a half hours. <laughs> Hello, Yvonne. Saw you this afternoon too. Oh, gosh. Okay, enough of looking at me. Let's just flip you around because here's the card we're going to make. And it's got a little detail thing on the inside, and I'll show you how to do that. It is amazing. But look at this gorgeous designer paper. Doesn't that look like I'm so talented? I'm such a good watercolorer. Yeah, it's not. It's just the paper. Hello, Facebook user. Who are you? Caroline. Hey, Caroline, are you going to the going to um, Carolyn's thing in Nanaimo on the 13th? I might be seeing you there. That would be awesome. Okay, so it's the card. So today is big, 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 big day in Stampin' Up! World. Our, our spring mini catalog and our yearly gigantic sale of celebration started today. And I couldn't be more excited. Good evening. Oh, that's Nadine. Hello. Yeah, all I can the only person I can see names for so far is Janet. So this paper that I'm using, uh oh, here's my sneeze. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Had to opt out as I'm teach oh. Oh Carolyn, that Caroline, that's too bad. Hello, Connie. Okay, so in this brochure, everything in here you can only get for free. And this starts today and runs until the 29th of February. Who else is excited to get an extra day of celebration this year? Yay, put your hand up. Go me, 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 me. Comment. If you are excited that we get an extra 24 hours of celebration. Anyways, in this little brochure, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 items you can choose from. There is gems and ribbon and a bundle and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 designer papers, two stamps, three stamp sets. Another bundle, four stamp sets. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Pat. I'm hoping nobody else. I'm sorry, you're having trouble with sound, but I hope nobody else is. Janet is exciting. Is excited? Yeah. Okay, so in here, this designer paper is on page six. It's right here. And you get it free with a minimum $60. Hello, Kathy. Oh, somebody said me chance to spend more money. Yes, I agree. It is. Let's just go over here. Norma's got her hand up. Nadine says chance to spend more money. Pat. 
hats here. Yay. Okay. So do you want me to show you this, like this package of paper or are you good to go? So there are a few things that I haven't been able to show you because I only just got them in. And if there's anything in here that you want me to show you, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to start creating. So the catalog is also is live. And look, I can show you the inside of it. Oh, my gosh. It is so exciting. I'm going to do a catalog launch on Tuesday. If you're local, come to the in-person one. But let me know because there's a make and take. I want to make sure I have a kit for you. And if you are not local, there's an opportunity for you to join me virtually on the 9th, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. right here in this VIP group where you're watching now. Somebody says, oh, Kathy got the designer paper. Who said show us? Somebody did. Oh, Josie. Hello, Josie. Oh, Josie, I wish you were local too. Would be lovely to have you come to my studio. I will show you a few things, but let's get the card made first. So, oh, and I've got a draw for two weeks worth of Share It Saturdays too, so don't let me forget to do that. Here's the front of the card, and then you open it up. Ta-da! What a wow is that, eh? Look at how gorgeous that paper is. That bird is out of the paper, and that bird is out of the paper, and the paper is out of the paper. The only problem with this paper is trying to decide which side you want to showcase because it is amazing. Yes, Josie, it is a wow. Um, it's been a very long time since I have been this excited over designer paper. Let me get it and I will show it to you. Okay. Let me just get out some sheets here. So I had a scrapbook class this afternoon. First time ever doing a scrapbooking class. It was so much fun. Okay, let's move this card because I don't want to squirch it. There's the paper. Look at this. How do you decide what side you want to use? This one is easy. And you can also do this. Like, look at how well one side coordinates with the other side. <laughs> Who said that? Pat says, no problem. Spend money and get two of the display papers. And you can use both sides. <laughs> oh, Pat, you're funny. Nadine loves it too. Okay, so here's one side and there's one side. Uh, I tell you, then there is this side and that side. Look at this. Just look how nicely these two coordinate. Is that not amazing? And uh, all you need to do to make a card is to get a circle and die cut that out in a circle and you're good to go. You don't have to fussy cut. I did a fussy cut card a couple of weeks ago. Oh, who's saying hi? Hey, Marsha. Yeah, I can't see names tonight because I'm in my VIP group. You'd think I would be able to see the names of my VIP group, not in my public one, but it's the other way around. So there's that, another pattern. And all of these birds, I have been fussy cutting like crazy. And then there's this one. It's on the other. So, oh, okay. So the birds are on the other side of that one. This one and this one go together. And then there's this one and that one. And I've been fussy cutting these out. Two weeks ago, I did that um, really funky. Did you guys, were you guys there? I did this one two weeks ago and I fussy cut. The flop, the birds out from that. Did were you here for that? Did you see this one? Okay. So they're they fussy cut. They're a little bit fussy, I must say, but you don't need to fussy cut. Like use an oval, use a circle, use a square, and you can cut them out. Okay, enough showing. Let's create. 
I have been creating like a mad person for my catalog lunch party. And I've made over 40 cards. And I still have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm, I still have four days to go. Could be a whole bunch of stuff happening in my craft room. Oh, yes. You need to try that card because it's fun. Okay. So for this card, I am using thick basic white that is 11 by four and a quarter. And it is scored at five and a half and folded in half. Then I have... I have a piece of flirty flamingo that is five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to die cut the circle out of that before I put it on the front. I have a piece of basic white that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And we're going to use the layered floral embossing folder on that. Piece of designer paper, the flight and airy paper that is 12 by four. And it is scored at, let me make sure I get it the right way up. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Did you get that? The score, the score lines for this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then I'll show you how to fold that. I just folded it like that to get it in my envelope. A piece of basic white that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that's what goes on the inside here. Then I have a two by two, and that's for this circle here. This one is um, one by two for the sentiment. And then I have a bird that I have to fussy cut. And then I have another bird that I'm going to use a deckled circle on, and that's going to go in there. And then this one is this one is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and it's going to go be die cut with this deckled circle and on put onto the front. And then I have 30 inches of baker's twine. So this is baker's twine that's in the mini catalog where did i put it because i have to tell you the colors let me find it baker's twine it's on page 33 and look i can show you the catalog page 33 it's part of the lighter than air um suite which is what my february class is going to be on is the um hot air balloon sweet bundle okay so here's that um baker's twine three color pack floridy flamingo lemon lolly and balmy blue so i'm using the flirty flamingo one and there's 30 inches of that then i'm going to finish off with the new adhesive back rainbow dots and look at those these are in all of these colors so this one package of embellishments and there is 160 embellishments one two three four five six seven eight different colors and they're pretty well going to cover any color you want to use but they go really good together with the what's that designer paper called Hang on, I could see lighter than air designer paper. This one, which is almost as pretty as this one. Hello, Wendy. Okay, then I'm the sentiment is from Softly Sophisticated. Now, this is um, a bundle you can get in celebration free with a six, $120 order. It's a photopolymer stamp set and it's bundled with this embossing folder. And I've used this a couple of times and I absolutely love it i keep it like this i keep the embossing folder inside the stamp set just because i don't know why i do that i just do okay and then i'm going to use the layered florals embossing folder this is the one that's really hard to find in the catalog if you're not looking for it you probably will miss it and um, let me find out what page it's on it is called 
it's a tool. It's a tool and it's a layered florist. It's on page 65. It's in there with this. Did anybody get this stamp set? It's called Inspirational Sketches. I was thinking of getting it because it is pretty cool, but I haven't yet. Hi, Carmen. So the embossing folder is way up here in the corner. It's kind of hidden, but I just showed you where it is. So now you know the secret. We're going to use that. We're going to use the deckled circles dies, and I'm using number three four six and seven okay i didn't get my machine so hang on have a look at this gorgeous paper and tell me which color bird you like the best i just have to get my machine there we are oh nadine ordered it today Connie is going to. Kathy missed it. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, now you know, Kathy. You know where it is. You can, can order it for your club order. Okay. That just needs folding. This I need to die cut. And I'm using number seven to die cut this. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my goodness piece of washi tape to hold that in place there oh I take it over to my machine so did you guys have a good Christmas did you have a good New Year's are you all ready to to go then out of oh no that wasn't the biggest one oops somebody should have been yelling at me the biggest one goes in the center here that one there we go that's the biggest one and then the second biggest one goes here i'm just kind of paying attention to where i'm putting this to maximize that piece of paper <laughs> good idea all right and then on the inside i'm going to use this one, this is number four to cut that bird out. My birds are gonna be facing a different direction than my original card. Whoops, that's not gonna work. I need another piece of that. I found a, a roll of washi tape, so I'm gonna be using washi tape, okay. So that's all I can get on my machine right now. So I'm going to run those through. My machine is good. Oh. There we go. Got those cut out. And then the smallest one, the smallest die, is going to cut out this two by two piece of white to go in behind that bird that I have to fuzzy cut. Look at all the people joining us. So when you looked at, first of all, I should ask, has everybody seen the catalog now, whether you have it in person or you get it virtually? Has everybody had a chance to look at the new catalog? I might have been through it a number of times, maybe 12 or 14 hundred times <laughs> oh connie's seen it so connie tell me what was your very first thing in the catalog that went on your i'm gonna order that list oh norma did somebody said oh yes and there went my budget so tell me what your very first thing was that you had on your, oh, I'm going to order that right away list. There we go. <laughs> Nadine's been through numerous times. Kathy says it's a fabulous catalog and you could spend lots of money. I agree. 
Yep, I agree. Okay, so I have to emboss my basic white. So let's just put this through. Then we have all of the pieces and I can start assembling and fussy cutting. I have a bird to fussy cut. Yeah, I've been through it. I don't know, countless, countless times. Along with the celebration brochure. Nadine says her first one was the lavender suite. Oh, Nadine, let me tell you about the lavender suite. Holy Aunt Jemima. Did I have fun with that one? I started creating with it and I haven't been able to stop. I think I've got like 12 or 14 cards made just with that one. Norma says thoughtful expressions. I've seen it. Half of it might already be in my craft room. Notes of nature was my first pick, whoever that was. I agree with you. I like notes of nature. It was on my list too. Trusty tools, always looking for men's stamps. Yep. It's another one I've had fun with. Um, and it's got designer paper that coordinates with it in the celebration catalog. So did you get that too? Where did I put my celebration brochure? Uh-oh, lock the door, somebody stole my celebration brochure. Oh, there it is. So there's trusty tools and then in celebration free for $60, there's the trusty toolbox designer paper and some of the dies cut out some of those images. Kathy says lighter than air. Somebody said stippled roses and cutest cows. Oh, she did get the trusty toolbox designer paper. Woohoo. Okay. Okay. Step one. Let's just stop nattering on here and let's do this. Step one, attach my emboss. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at how gorgeous that is. Where's my adhesive? Trusty Tools ordered it today. Oh, Nadine got Trusty Tools. Yep. Yep. Every time I order, I put an order in, which I might have put like maybe five orders in since we were a, because I did the product purchase premiere because I went to the stamping up um, online convention in November. So because you go to that, you get an access to that earlier. So I had an order or two there. And then when the catalog pre-order came out, I might have had an order or two or five or six from there too. And every time I go into the catalog, I think, oh, crap, I need that too. Oh, Nadine says her husband may faint when her order comes in. Nadine, send him out for coffee with friends when it's due. He'll never know. Okay, so this one, now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back here, like that. Get my silicone mat so I don't get sticks to the, so it doesn't stick to the table. And then I'm going to wrap this around three times. I'm going to start roughly in the center. I'm thinking if my, my nope, that's not the center. I'm going to move it up a bit. Roughly in the center, I want to roll, wrap it around once and make sure it sticks to the other side. And I do the sticking to the other side just so it's easier to deal with. And then I'm going to come out right up tight with that one and spread that out a bit there. So there we go. And then go here, go right up tight with that and then go the same width above that. And that will give that gives you a bit of a different kind of um, twine treatment for the front of your card. Isn't that cool? All right. Now I have a little bit extra, but that's okay. I would take it down. I get my my tear and tape. 
Sorry, I'm not watching comments right now. I should be. <laughs> oh, I had so many things on my, oh my God, I got to order it right away list. I was so good at Christmas. I planned out my classes ahead of time. I knew what I was going to order. This time I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff because it was pretty and I wanted it. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I try to do different stuff every once in a while with my twine or my ribbon. or I, Other than my scrapbooking class today, I spent a lot of time doing getting ready for product shares. We, I have the paperwork is all done. I decided I need to go to the dollar store and get some more plastic bags to put the put the ribbons in. I don't have enough. And I had one person drop out. So if anybody is still looking for um, anybody in Canada is still looking for product shares, let me know. I've got one spare one. Okay, so this is going to go on the card front like this. Hopefully straight. There. Now, I'm going to layer this circle cut. Um, bird onto the circle cut. Flirty flamingo, like that. And we're going to put that on the front along with the sentiment. And then on the inside, the inside, we have our designer paper. 12 by 4, so you can get three cards out of uh, one sheet of designer paper. And you, you fold it, you do a valley and then a mountain. So when I'm doing this, I do it one at a time and make sure I line the edges up because that just helps everything stay nice and flat. And then another valley. This is one of Susan Campfield's. It's called Pretty Pleats. And then that one is already a mountain because I, I did that one to get it into the envelope. And then another valley. So all you're doing is pleating this every inch. And then a mountain. Line that up. And finally, a valley. So when you put it all together, it looks like this. And the straighter you make it, the better your card is going to be. And the straighter you do, the more attention you pay to your um, score lines, the better your card is going to be. There. So then I take it and make sure that it's all nice and flat. Now, this is designer paper, so I'm not going to fold it both ways like I do with cardstock because this is too thin and I don't want to. Um, rip or break the paper. So there we go. There's our accordion for the inside. Oh, yeah, Nadine. I find that um, adhesive is a very personal thing, and what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another. And I know you've been using this amazing little glue bottle for a lot of years. So if that works for you, stick with it. All right. So I put glue on one or adhesive on one side. I'm going to take my card base and hopefully not attach myself to it. And we're going to put it on the left hand side. Make sure my pattern goes going the right way with a nice border all the way around, like that. And then fold it all up, put your adhesive on, like that. I've was, I really had problems with um, Stampin' Seal when it first came out. 
But the more you play with it, the easier it gets. Now, leave that closed and folded. Can you see what I'm doing here? See, I've got it all folded up. There's all the pleats. The first, there's where we put the first side on the left hand side. Then put all your, close all your pleats, close this one on top, and then just close your card on top of it. That way you know that your card is going to be nice and flat. And there we go. When we open it up, we get all the pretty pleats. This is not amazing. I love it. Um, the bird. There it is. I have to fussy cut the bird. So now is where we can chit chat. I can't see your comments, but, you know, I'll be nattering away as I fussy cut another bird. I think I've fussy cut an entire sheet of these birds out already. Because when I sit there at night and hubby and I watch TV, he's allowed to have my, I grace him with my presence for like two or three hours in the evening. Or he poddles off to bed and I come back to my craft room. So I sit there and fussy cut if I have fussy cutting to do. I just finished knitting or crocheting a hat for our daughter-in-law. She asked me to crochet. A, it's a, an octopus. Then it looks really cool. I didn't think it was going to look very good when I started it, but it does. It looks really cool, and she loves it. She's been wearing it every day since I gave it to her, which was Boxing Day because I didn't get it finished for Christmas Day. So I crochet now i've taken the leftover wool i've got boxes and boxes of wool that were left over from my mother and from my sister's mother-in-law because my sister doesn't do this kind of stuff um so i've got boxes and boxes of wool and i'm going to try and get through a bunch of it and make toques i'm knitting toques and then i'm going to knit a few um slippers and I'm going to box them all up and we have a new um, a new shelter, women's shelter opening here in town. So I'm going to take a whole box of that kind of stuff over there. Okay, so we have that bird. We have this is the front. We have this bird and there's another. Where is it? Where's my white circle? anybody see what I did with the, the little white circle I die cut from the two by two piece? It's not here. Oops. Yeah, you have to tell the, the, you have to tell the paper how to fold for the first time or two. Once it gets it, it gets it. You have to create a memory. Okay. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Good gosh, where did it go? See, guys? Oh, there it is. Apparently, it went through the machine under my embossing folder. Thank you, whoever said that on my machine. You guys are right. Kathy and somebody who's a Facebook user. Pat. Oh, well, you know, some things. A new year, some things just don't change. Okay, I'm going to use my funky glue bottle and Nadine's little trick with the, the rubber band to hold that the little top on there. And we're going to go around the outside of this. And I probably should have put it onto my my circle on his tail and he isn't going to have glue. Oh dear. Okay, we'll have to try and get rid of that glue on his tail or I'm going to glue my card shut. A little bit in there. Let go. Thank you. Put my lid on. This is Revel. Oh, how did you get switched? My computer. This has revolutionized my card making, I tell you. Okay. I have paper towel right here. Let's just wipe off the glue off the tail of that little beast. 
There we go. Now it's sticking to me. Okay. Put the put the bird on the circle. Okay, now I've got a song going through my head. What's that song? Put the something in the coconut and mix it all together. What's that song? And I want to sing it. And I can't sing it because Facebook will shut me down. Okay, so I have to be careful of this tail. I'm just going to mark, put that there and mark it. Okay. Mark it. Doesn't matter which one I use, does it? I just want to mark it so I know where to put the adhesive. And then this one is going to go this way, like that. Go there. Mark that. All right. That, that. So the adhesive is going on that side. The lime in the coconut. There you go. Thank you. At least somebody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, for New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh. It was so good. Um, we have dinner with our local family and it's all we do a Chinese dinner. Chinese food. And yes, we we buy it. We don't make it because we don't make it. And then we play games. And they got a 3D Catan game for Christmas this year. So we played Catan. But Heather's mom is the queen of baking. She does the baking and she made um, cream puffs. And then she made a sugar. -free, so the cream puffs have no sugar in them. And then she made a sugar-free lemon curd. So if you know anything about me, you know that lemon and lime is my jam. I love lemon curd, lemon pie, lemon tarts, lemon cake, lemon anything, lemon candies. And lime is just as good. So she made this sugar-free lemon curd and we put it into the cream puffs and then filled it with un unsweetened um whipped cream oh i thought i'd died and gone to heaven honest to god i had two of them i was so bad and then we played Catan for a couple of hours and then we celebrated on new york time because you know we all go home and go to bed okay so this i'm going to put on here but heather got some lime curd for Christmas. So I'm in one of the um, cream puffs I had, I put lemon curd and lime curd in at the same time. Oh, makes my mouth water just thinking about it. It was so good. Yes, yeah, so I'm putting that there. Got the inside in, got my little circles in there. And just rem remind your card which way to fold. And then we're going to put this, it's going to go on here. So I need to put, okay, let's get this flipped over straight. So if I put the dimensionals there and there, and there and there. It was amazing, Kathy. It was so delicious. It's amazing how you can eat a complete Chinese dinner and two hours stuff two cream puffs into your face. It was good. All right, so this is going to go on here. Let me show you. Come on, hold. Thank you. Right there, like that. And then the sentiment where's my pokey tool
is going to go right, oops, this side, tuck that corner under there like that. Okay, and here we are, there we got the card. So it didn't take too long at all to do because the only stamping in the whole thing was the sentiment. Tuck that in there like that. And then we're going to finish it off with those amazing rainbow adhesive backed dots. Okay, let me clean things up a bit here. Now, what colors shall we? I used the flirty flamingo ones on that one, but I think I'm going to do a different color on this one. Uh, what do you think we should use? Oops, this one kind of fell off. Let's put it back where it's supposed to be. Let's. Take this so I can pick it up. Aw, thank you. Kathy, thank you. Okay, which dots do you think I should use or should I do a combination? Should we use more than one? Oh, and I forgot to get the stamps out for the envelope. So while you're deciding that, I'm going to get the stamps out from the sophisticated bundle. And I used this one and this one. And we're going to stamp the envelope. So they, I'm going to use Lost Lagoon. Combination, says somebody. Yay, you can vote. Anybody is eligible to vote on what embellishments I should use. Oh, Nadine says lemon lolly. Uh, somebody said one color. Somebody said will look nice. <laughs> okay, so this is Lost Lagoon. I am stamping this in because that's one of the colors of the designer paper. And then we're going to stamp the flowers in Flirty Flamingo. Pink and blue says Pat. Combo says Carmen. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to line this up so there's a little bud that goes inside that there. And that's kind of what I pay attention to. And then this little curve down here to put the other flower in. So I kind of. But this one is relatively easy to line up. See, I want to even get it inked properly, but you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, there's the envelope. And I think, I think we'll use a combination. I will use a yellow one down there. And I want to, oh, I haven't used blue yet. Let's use two of the blue ones like that there we go beautiful clean off my space so there you go there's the original card there's the one we made tonight and see how easy it is to create with that gorgeous designer paper so don't forget when you put your order in, it's called Flight and Airy. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, let's do the draws. I have two Share It Saturday draws to do tonight. Now, was there, I know somebody asked, um, somebody asked, to see something from the mini catalog or the celebration. So if there's a particular product you want to see, want me to show you, let me know. I don't have all of them, but I have most of them. Okay, let's just flip this over like that. Get, get me out of the stand. You could do multiple colors of the twine, Kathy. That would be very pretty. Yeah, 
so you'd need 10 inches ish not even 10 inches because it's only going around it's only going around like five and a quarter so you could get away with six and a half inches times three different colors you could do that oh wendy uh, you're going to enjoy your order when it comes in valentine paper in celebration okay valentine paper in celebration where's the celebration brochure well, let me see what it's called it is called it is called is that the one most adored is it most adored of course you can't see it because i took you down out of my stand there is it is it that paper you want to see the most adored paper because i don't i think that's the only one okay okay sorry i put you down and now you can't see let me get it so i don't forget most adored okay i got it i will do the draws and then i will show you that paper okay who was asking that josie okie dokie all right so we're going to do this i'm going to do that and then we're going to go here this is a uh, share oh why what oh wait wait gotta do that and then go to there there we go so share it saturday for um saturday december the 16th i'm going to take out the heading and i'm going to shuffle once shuffle twice look at all the entries we had in this week and the winner of december the 16th share it saturday is a drum roll please um, da -da -da, i can't see what it's doing pat pat hickey number three card good job pat all right we'll go to the other the next one this is share it saturday for the 23rd yeah oh come on delete delete shuffle shuffle there's not as many entries in this one and the winner for share it saturday on the 23rd of december is going to be connie number four yay okay now i'm gonna go back over to here i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna put you back up on my stand um and connie when i got your christmas card i got some uncancelled stamps so i'll send them back to you in with that put stamps in i'll send them back to you because i know how expensive postage is these days yes congratulations to pat and connie that's awesome thank you so much for entering don't forget somebody wins every week and it might as well be you okay oh i have a couple of packages of this all right this is called most adored and honestly i have no idea why this is a level one celebration because it's got gold foil in it it's a specialty designer paper it should be a level two but they're giving it to us level one this year i'm so excited so it's got gold foiling in it look look at that oh you know what i didn't do i didn't bring out my glass mat oh where is it i wanted to see i'm gonna get it out because i want to see if um I could use it or if my lights are going to be affected by it okay so there's one and then on the other side look at that and then there's that pattern in gold and white and a really cool tartan 
then a gold and white tartan. And this one has little tiny hearts on it, little filigree hearts. Isn't that cute? And beautiful flowers. The other side is that is some white hearts on real red. And then this one has white hearts, white or gold hearts on a white background. And a pink and red tartan. And then this sheet, I, I've used these already. Not these sheets, because obviously I've gotten you new sheets. And there's some pink hearts on a light pink background. So this is Flirty Flamingo and Petal Pink. Gorgeous. And it's got gold foiling, and it's free with a $60 order. You can't get much better than that. Okay, so the glass mat, I don't know whether it's going to fit on here or not. I'm going to move some stuff because I want to see. It is available with the starter kit. Oh, yeah, see, my lights are going to good. Okay, let me flip this over and I'm going to move this up so you get, you can get the full effect of it. So if you get the starter kit in January or February this year, during celebration, you get to choose this glass mat and it's got grid paper inside it. And it's, what do they call it? Oh, I can't remember. Like you, it's like a whole suite. You get this glass mat and it is 13 by 13. And then it's got this area at the side that you can do stuff with. And then it comes with this um, silicon pad thing that you can mix colors and you can use it for all sorts of different stuff. And I haven't even opened this yet. This is the, this is the little chamois doohickey that you use to clean it off. It's different than our purple chamois in that it's bigger and thinner. And it's going to dry out because this comes Um, it comes pre-moistened, but it's just like the other chamois. You just run it under cold water and rinse it out. And then you can either store it flat like that. So I think I would just store mine like that and put it away in the drawer. So tell me, is this light irritating on there? If I was to start using this to do my cards? Am I going to be able to use this or do I have to see this light? This light I can do something about because it's it's beside me. But these ones that are right here, those ones are in my ceiling and I can't do anything about those. But this is pretty cool. Of course, I got it sitting up on my my stand here, so it's not it's crooked. Um, it is not available for sale yet, Josie. It's one of the choices with a starter kit. And then after the end of February, if they have any left, then they are going to make them available for purchase. And they have not told us if it's going to be available for demonstrators only or if customers are going to be able to buy these. I can't answer that question. It all, it's all going to depend on how many they use during celebration. There. But it's it's really cool. And apparently it's supposed to stamp with photopolymer images really good. Let me get some cards up. Because you're here, I want to try this. Because why not, right? there get my flirty flamingo now you the that little silicon mat thing this thing you can um, mix 
your colors in there. If you are watercoloring, you can use it with your blending brushes. It fits the little one inch um, stamping spots. Okay, let's just stamp this and see what it looks like. Remember, mine is tipping. Oh, look at how lovely that image is. Let's see if I can do this the other way and line the line the leaves up with the flowers because I've already got them stamped. Okay, now this is going to go in there like that. Just a little bit. Not as easy to line this up as it was with the doing it the other way, but let's see. Okay, this is amazing. Now, um, Janet Wakelin, if any of you follow her, she did an entire video of um, all about this. Let me find it here. I saved it. I saved it. Of course, it's saved it this morning. There it is, Janet Wakelin. I'm going to give you in the comments on Facebook, in the comments, there's the video that Janet Wakelin did all about this glass mat and her tips and tricks. So I haven't watched all of it, but it was amazing. And look at that. Look at the stamped image. Where's my where's my envelope? So there's the one I did earlier. And there's the one I did on the glass mat. This one is better than that one. I might have to start. The only thing I'm worried about is that glare. And I don't know. I can't do anything about the lights in the ceiling. But there you go. It is what it is. I will be using it because it's really cool. All right. So has anybody got any questions before we say good night and have a wonderful weekend? It's my hubby's birthday on Monday, but we're celebrating it on Sunday because we always do a family dinner and it's probably going to be sushi. I love sushi. Oh, I love sushi. But we're going to do it on Sunday when everybody is home. Just put pieces over the glare. Yes, I could do that. Janet purchased a magnetic sheet she placed under. Okay, so the magnetic sheet that Janet placed underneath it is not a magnetic sheet. It's a um, metal sheet. And if you watch, she was using her magnet from the Stamparatus. She was not using like a die or something on there. So what she did was she just had a real thin metal plate. And it slid underneath this so that it had metal here. And then she was able to put her magnet on there to hold things. Yeah. It's a good video. It's good to watch. Put pieces over the glare. I could do that. I don't know. I have to figure something out. Oh, happy birthday to Marie. Her birthday is Sunday. That's awesome. Yes. Happy. Thanks, Kathy. Um, we celebrate Elvis's birthday every year, which is the same day as my husband's birthday. We just tell him that we celebrate his birthday. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> it's like 58 years of celebrating Elvis's birthday and Ted thinks we're celebrating his. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will be back Monday night at 7 o'clock on my page and here in my VIP group. Don't forget, if you like this video, um, hit those emojis and let Facebook know that you do like it. And every time you comment and interact with me, it makes Facebook raise those my videos up in the algorithm and more people get to see it. Vellum will diffuse the light and it's a photography trick. Mm. Wonder if I could if I could hang vellum up 
there. I don't want to put vellum on here, but I might be able to hang some vellum up there. Good night, everybody. And don't forget about my um, catalog launch party on Tuesday. The treasure hunt is up, so fill it out. Get in the draw. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon in my craft room. Stamp smiles, and bye for now. <laughs>